What's up guys, it's CK here and welcome back to the Crew Wild Run for a build of the 2015 Ford Mustang GT. I've just got this thing in drift spec so let's get far straight into it and actually pick a colour for it. I know the one I'm wanting, it is bright orange, it is very very out there, it is officially going to be the Tangerine Mustang. It looks absolutely fantastic. Stickers we're going to be leaving, the interior we're going to be leaving, but the front bumper we are going to be fixing because I don't really like the chin spoiler on this thing. That looks very reminiscent of the Boss 302 Mustang. And that is the one we're going to be going for. It's way too cool to pass up. So let's jump into the rear bumper. I don't think we're going to be changing this. I like the way it is right now. It already has quite a nice looking side scot on it, but we'll check the other one and see what it actually is. I think it's just more of a matte look. I think we'll be keeping the normal one. It's very, very nice the actual kit they actually give us already for the car. Now I know the rims that I'm going for. Now obviously since this thing is an American muscle car icon, we've got to go with big American muscle rims. Look at these things. They're absolutely gorgeous in the chrome. For the side mirrors I've opted to put on the orange ones just so they can blend in with the car more. The rear wing, now this is where it's going to get a little bit ugly. Let's just say that. Get ugly. <laughs> uh, no, we're not going to go for the stupid crazy wing. Doesn't really suit it, but I think we'll be going for this one right here. So onto the hood. Oh my god, look at that beast. Jesus. We got a colour combination one, we got a carbon fibre bonnet. Oh my lord. Oh my lord, man. Oh my lord. But I think we'll be going for this big thing right here. Jesus, it stands out. The upgrades have already been done for us. This pony is pushing out 614 horsepower. 593 pounds for a torque and has an overall weight of 3059 pounds. So here we are out on the streets of Chicago in the Mustang. It looks very very nice in the sunlight as you can plainly see right here. We are going to be sticking to the main city streets guys. Towards the end of the video we might head out into the countryside but the city just provides the best area to test out the cars for drifting. We've also been joined by a guy in a Hummer which looks very very cool indeed. So let's fire this thing up and get going. Go! Oh, it sounds very, very good. You can hear this supercharger whine straight away. Okay, so flick of the handbrake, a little bit of gas. I mean, the crew is very, very different from any other games for drifting, so it does take a while to get back into it, considering the fact that I've not played this game in a very, very long time, but I've played around with it, and my technique is Touch the handbrake and just a little bit of gas. Yeah, that's more like it. It feels so good when you actually get it right. Brake, handbrake. Oh god, that was some stairs. Oh Jesus! <laughs> right, over the bridge we go. At least this is a wide open corner. Yes, that's it. That's my technique to practice. Use wide open corners, not little narrow streets. Yes, we're getting better now. How's the guy in the Hummer doing? <laughs> I don't imagine he's doing that well considering that thing's all-wheel drive. There we go. Oh, shit, yes. I thought we were going to slam it into that Taurus. And apparently Drive Club is getting updated. Now, that actually brings me on to the first topic. I'm glad that actually came up. It just reminded me there. Drive Club is getting a brand new DLC on the 22nd, guys. And it features the Jaguar XJ220. And wait for it. The Koenigsegg Regera. Oh my god, seriously. That thing is one of my most hyped hypercars, pardon the pun, for this year and a few years, seriously. It's mental, it's got around about 1500 horsepower and only one gear. Yeah, cannot wait to test that out in Drive Club, guys. It'll be going in Cherry Apple Red, or not Cherry Apple Red, Candy Apple Red, just stupid idiot. And we'll just be flinging it around the track like this. <laughs> now, I don't know how that's going to fare though, because that's got 1500 horsepower, this has only got like 614. That thing, I believe, is mid engined. So, the centre of gravity and everything is a wee bit weird with mid engine cars. They like to spin and everything. But since this is front engine rear wheel drive, it's relatively okay. It does want to spin sometimes, but you can correct it. Oh, hold on just a second. We've got the freaking airport here. Yes! Let's do some airport drifting! Oh my god, there's a plane right above us! Oh my god! 
Next is terrifying. Oh, Jesus. Bloody hell, I thought it was going to squish us. Okay, Mr. Plane. And break. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect that to go that well. That was freaking awesome. Wow. <laughs> Apart from clipping the tire on the end of that there. Holy shit. Oh, sorry, mate. But let's do that again. I want to do that again. Come on, her. Oh, yes. This is such a good throw when you do that. Sorry if I'm slightly hyperactive, but god damn, it feels good. You want a race, punk? Right, I think he's going to win the race. He's freaking VTech kicked in, yo. So I think you all know what we're going to do for the end of this video. Drifting it down a certain mountain section that I can't pronounce. I'm not going to say it. Because every time I say it, I always get a bunch of comments saying, Oh, you're not pronouncing this correctly. So I'm not going to say it. But look at it. So beautiful. My favourite road in the crew. So let's get going down it. With the Mustang. Oh, it's so much smoother already. Just going downhill helps a lot when you're drifting. Unless you spin out. I swear this area changes weather quicker than Need for Speed 2015. It was up dark a minute ago, but it's, now it's nice and sunny. Oh, don't spin out. Yes, that's it. But I want to talk to you about my intro song, guys. A lot of you guys have been saying, oh, what is it? It's actually um, my post not to Capel and Ibiza the Seed Remix. The links weren't actually working a couple of days ago in the description, so I've just put the name of the song in the description below. Same with the outro song, which is Hey Now, the Art Remix by London Grammar. You might have heard that in Horizon 2. Sorry, Dodge Durango. God damn it, but the main reason why I want to bring up a song is that I don't know if you guys have heard of Aaron Trupa. He's the guy that done I'm an Albatross. He's got a new song out called Little Swing You Mother Bitch. Quick question, who the fuck wants ice cream up here at this temperature, seriously? But anyhow, before I get rudely interrupted by an ice cream van, yeah, he's got a brand new song out called Little Swing. And I remember saying this in a, a video like a few months ago when that Mike Posner song wasn't even in the charts saying yeah I like it, I've downloaded it and everything so I kind of predicted that that thing would be a bit more popular than it was at the time because it's at number two in the charts right now that Mike Posner song but I've got a funny feeling it's going to be the exact same way Aaron Schuper's new song hope it does because it's really really good, I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can hear it because if you're brand new to my videos guys, that's what I talk about, I just talk about random shit FUCK Okay, so if you do have anything you want me to talk about, guys, then let me know. And back. Yes, that's more like it. I mean, it is quite small drifts compared to, like, Forza Horizon 2, which is basically a drift simulator. Kind of like Forza 6 as well, but you kind of need to work it. You need to get into a rhythm with this game. Is kind of what I like about it. It's not just get in, get sideways. Plus, you can use the NOS to your advantage in this game. If you're slowing down mid-drift, just tap the NOS and it'll keep you going. I'll try and demonstrate it while I'm going up here. Handbrake. NOS it, NOS it, NOS it. Yes. Oh, it's probably the best drift we've done all the video. NOS helps. NOS helps everything. And that sunlight, holy crap. i just got to take a second. That is absolutely gorgeous, man. Oh, God. oh, there's a little wolf as well. Damn, nature. You're beautiful. Or should I say... Damn, Dan! <laughs> no! Just kill that meme now. Kill it. Look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous. Breathtaking, in fact. Love it, man. Let's save it to my collection. So I always collect photos and games. Do you guys do that or is it just me? I spend some nights actually just flicking through the photos. But damn, look at it. Oh. God like and here we see the Mustang and it's natural habitat. So we're going to round it off here guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, then a like is always appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you do want to see some more of the Crew Wild Run from me and any other racing game out there. And yeah, follow me on Facebook and Twitter and we'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and peace. Bye bye.